Well, good morning, or good day, good afternoon, whichever. Time for a wander in the woods again. Not looking for anything specific. Just seeing what the state of the trees are. And it's uh, quite late. Well, it is late August, nearly September. Um, always looking for new places to check out. See if there's any change in the leaf colour. Oh, mushrooms. Yes. I'm partial to a bit of mushroom photography. Look at all these dead trees here. Just piled up. Well, that's a fallen tree actually. Let's go back. Oh yeah. See there, look. That's a big one. Oh, yeah, it's been down for a while there. It's quite rotten. Ah. So where am I today? Um, took the train to Saunderton, which is just near Princess Risborough. And uh, uh, I'll probably walk back to Whiteleaf Cross. It's a lovely clear day, so there'll be some nice views from up there. Um, haven't spotted any opportunities yet for photos, but I'll be sure to be back when I've seen something. So see you in a bit. Well, I've come a bit further. Probably about two and a half miles, I would say. I'm walking along Grimm's Ditch, which is, uh, I don't know, about 3,000 years old, something like that. Um, this feature zigzags its way across the Chilterns for around 30 miles, so imagine the work that went into that. I mean, it's quite silted up now, as you can see behind me there. Uh, this section goes for about a mile, I suppose. Uh, and when it uh, gets to the end, I'll turn left and go towards Parslow's Hillock, which is where the Pink and Lily pub is, and uh, I might uh, have a look at uh, Cop Hill if I'm around that area. That's not far from Whiteleaf Cross. Onwards I trudge. Nice and peaceful. To stop. See? Hardly a sound. Lovely. Well, I'm gonna carry on and see if I can find anywhere to have a rest. So I'll be back in a bit. Well, I've gone past. Parslow's Hillock, and this is a bridal way. Uh, well, where's it leading to? Leading to a road, anyway. Um, now I can do a left down there towards uh, Cop Hill. I'm still looking for photographs, but uh, nothing has grabbed my attention yet. I mean, it's all very nice, but you know, I'm just enjoying being out really. Well, I was just wandering along after my last piece to camera and saw this tree sticking out. I've been looking for something like this, you know, one of the early uh, changes for autumn. Um, the light's pretty good now, it's sort of subdued. So, uh, 
Let's just refresh this. Composition setup is a bit dark, but um, that will brighten up in post. And change the uh, photograph a bit on Lightroom. So I'm at uh, f8, ISO 200, at uh, 180th on a five second timer on manual. So let's, let's do it. And that's at full height as well. I mean, uh, I'm six foot six and this thing is above my head. So yeah, it's a nice thing. Well, here I am walking along the road. Cars coming towards me. What am I trying to do? Just uh, keep to the side, out of the way. It's not a very busy road. Oh, there's another car. I can use the camera to look behind me. And I'll just uh, wait here. I'm not far from Cop Hill. That's why I'm walking along here. There's no um, footpath through the through the woods. Visibility looks pretty good. So when I get up there, I'll uh, I'll show you. I should see for miles. Yeah, here I am at Cop Hill. Pretty quiet. I mean, there's a few people up here when I first arrived. But uh, yeah, nice view. See uh, for miles. So back in the woods, there is the uh, track that leads to Whiteleaf Cross. So I should go there next. So here I am at Whiteleaf Cross. See a magnificent view, and quite a lot of people here, which is to be expected on Sunday. Um, that's pretty much the end of my walk, I guess. I should be heading off down to Monks Risborough, getting the train home from there. Thanks for watching and see you next time.